Hey guys, what's poppin'? Oh my god, and welcome to another Sketchbook Sundays. Oh, <laughs> if you're looking for some chill vibes and something to do in your sketchbook on this rainy Sunday or whatever day it is, this is the right place for you. Uh, welcome, you guys. Let's get into it. Hey guys, just in case you guys are new around here, my name is Danielle and I'm the artist behind Creative Girl of Color or that creative girl if you happen to be over on Twitch. What's popping everybody? Happy Sunday. I hope you guys are doing well wherever you are around the world. So you know what to do. Go ahead and share, like, love it, follow if you happen to be on Twitch. And if you have any questions, go ahead and pop them below because it's going to be a nice chill vibes. We're going to go maybe 30 minutes, half an hour, whatever. And you can go ahead and play me in the background if you're just moving around the house and you want to have something on, you want to hear like some chill vibes, you want to hear me kind of like chatter and talk about yada, 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 like my life or what I have, whatever I have going on. <laughs> this is definitely the place for you, okay? Um, so yeah, happy Sunday, everybody. I hope you guys are having a good week, a better week than I've had. Um, it's been insane. It's been a lot going on in my world over here. I wonder, comment below and let me know how's your weekend. What's been going on, especially if you happen to be pun the replay, go ahead and put hashtag replay crew. Oh my God, it's been so much going on. Um, I want to catch you guys up on everything that's been happening so insane. Uh, lots of updates that I got to do, but I want to show you like my sketchbook and we're going to get into like, what do we do? What are we painting today, Danielle? What are we painting? We're painting pansies and pumpkins. Okay. And it's going to be fun because I wanted to do like somewhat of like Sunday chill vibes, but I want, and of course we're still doing a hundred flower challenge in case you guys don't know. And that's going to be lots of fun. Um, let me see. Let me switch over to where we were. You can go ahead and get your sketchbooks out, paint your pens and all the things. Join me, okay, as we, we head over to the painting setup here. Let me move my camera up. And there we are, you guys. Here we are. I'm going to move you up slowly so you can kind of see what's going on. Hello, everybody out there. Yes. So here's my sketchbook. I'm using a regular sketchbook that I have from that one of my favorite sketchbooks in the whole wide world that I bought from Amazon. And um, I, didn't, I was like experimenting. I didn't know quite like how it was going to be. And I was just like rummaging through like, yo, I really need a sketchbook. I really need something that's going to make my life a whole lot easier. Um, something where I'm not like, you know what I mean? Like I can do dry media, wet media, all types of media. I don't know about oil paints. I haven't tried oil paints in this particular um, sketchbook yet, but I'm feeling like it can all kind of work. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm feeling like it, it can all kind of work. Um, if you guys really want to know what sketchbook I'm using, you can head over and um, you can actually, ooh, speaking of, okay, yo, I just made up a Discord, you guys. So... I want to pop that. Matter of fact, you can get that link, all the links and all the stuff that I'm talking about, you can get that down below. But I just started a Discord because everybody's on Discord right now, right? If you don't know, everybody's on Discord. Everybody is kind of getting into the, to the, to the vibes of Discord. And it took me quite some time to kind of figure out whether I wanted to be on Discord or not. Um... But now that I've kind of figured out the platform a little bit, I'm super excited for it. Like, there's so many tools that you can use on Discord. And I know some of you, especially that that are on my gaming channel, that like that sort of medium. And you don't like Facebook, because I know a lot of people are like, mm, Facebook, mm, ew, I hate it. Hated it. <laughs> I know I'm like, hated it. Mm, hated it. I, like, I don't know about you, but yeah. Sis is not really pleased with Facebook either. So, and then, like, 
I don't know about, you know, like people are not really seeing all of your stuff on Facebook anymore. So, yeah. So, long story short, I made a Discord. Go follow. Um, it's, it's pretty brand new, so it's not going to be a lot of people on there. So, I'm trying to get people involved. And then on there, I want to do, like, special challenges. It's going to have where you guys can post your art. You can post your Twitter. It's going to be all the updates that I have going on. Yada, yada, yada. Blowsy, blowsy. Okay, so I popped up a little bit of a reference photo so you guys can, like, follow through or follow along with me if you want to. But I actually ended up combining several different types of reference photos. Um, and these are the pansies. I'm not following it exactly, but I wanted to kind of pop something up so I can have something to kind of see what's going on. Um, and then I have this one that I really, really love. I love pink. You guys know I love pink. And I love pansies. And then, of course, it is the fall season. It is spooky season, right? So, of course, I'm going to want to put pumpkins in there. And this is the reference photo you guys actually have up on the um, screen right now. You can follow along. You don't have to follow along. Or just get out your sketchbook and do whatever you like. Because it's your world. We're just living at it. Okay? Um, and that's the bottom line with that. So, yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna have these off to the side. I'll probably play a little music later on. But I'm not going to do it now. Because, you know, everybody doesn't always like... Um, all the music and stuff like that. Some people just want to hear you chat, kind of talk about your day. So what's been going on with my day? Um, I'm kind of using just a regular, like, plasticky pa palette. But you can use any palette that you want to use, pretty much. It's all, it's all good in the hood, okay? It is what it is. Um, welcome to everybody out there. Yes, hit that follow button and all the things. If you happen to be on Twitch. Oh, speaking of Twitch, if I can actually open my paint. I don't know what's going on. I think my nails are getting too long. <laughs> so I had, um, oh, back to what I was saying. Speaking of Twitch, um, I'm actually trying to get to like 50 followers on there. It's like a whole thing. So if you like gameplay more than anything, you like sims because <laughs> that's only what i play on there i'm not really a gamer gamer but i really love the sims that's like my side hobby hustle so um consider being a follower and supporting your gal on twitch but yeah i'm using some gouache i'm using a mixture of arteza is it arteza it's arteza and I don't really endorse Arteza too much because it's not like my favorite brand, but it is a brand, you know? And then I'm using um, my expensive, expensive gouache also because I really, really like it. It's like archival. It's super duper lovely. I love it so, so much. Um, so I'm using its whole bind. So I might use a mixture of all of these. I only have like six tubes because it's like so expensive it's like astronomical <laughs> uh it is astronomical about of money for these damn um paints so i'm like what why do i have to pay all this money for gouache like for real why am i paying all this money so anyway um i'm gonna put out probably a mixture of all the colors but you know you're gonna have a lot of warm colors because of the fact i'm gonna put out my favorite color as you know like you do magenta um, and I didn't even need that much. I squared it out too much. So, yeah, as you know, because it's like fall season, spooky season, you don't need a lot of warm colors, oranges, yellows, um, reds. You can use a red or a magenta. Magenta is my favorite type of pink red. I don't use a lot of red, believe it or not, because you can mix a lot of different hues and colors just from magenta. Just in case you don't know, okay? <laughs> Hello, everybody out there. What's poor Bim? Hi. So, yeah, you can mix a lot of different colors just from that. Um, a lot of different colors all together. 
So that's pretty much what I'm doing right here. I'm mixing all the different oranges, reds, browns, oranges, yellows, yada, yada, yada. So today I really, really needed this, you guys. I hope you needed to, like, some little bit of art therapy in your life because let me tell you, honey, the type of weekend I've been having. It's been insanity. I swear, because of the pandemic, um... I've been feeling like really anxiety rid riddled. Like I've really been feeling like, oh my God, there's too much going on, da 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 da. Um, and I've really just been feeling depressed. For real, I'm not even gonna lie about that. I'm gonna put out a little bit of purple because purple goes into everything I do. I love purple so so much, so so much. Um, and put out some blue because then I can probably get a, a nice purple. I can get a probably a nice green. Green and yellow make um blue and yellow make green, just in case you guys don't know. Just in case you guys don't know, now you know. Okay. It's like one of those after school specials. I think I'm telling my age. <laughs> it's an after school special, peeps. All right. Now you know. Now you know. All right. Don't forget, you guys, if you're on Facebook or Twitter, wherever you are, go ahead and hit that uh, share button. Share it out. Do you guys want to see my face that close? I don't know. Maybe you don't. <laughs> Maybe you don't want to see me that close. Like, why are you so close, girl? Why? We don't want to see your big ass bow. <laughs> well, you're going to see it today, ma'am. All right, so, of course, gouache is my favorite medium besides acrylic. So I'm going to spray it just a smidge. Just a smidge. All right, just to get, just to get it moist. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, but just to get it moist. <laughs> ah, so crazy. So cray-cray. Okay. Um, just to kind of get it wet and moist and get it, get its life together. I should have shared, I forgot to even, I don't have any mod today. I, I think my mod, she is out of town, darling. V, she's out of town, so she won't be here. So I don't think I got a chance to share it in our group on Facebook. Hey, what's popping? Julia. What is going on? How are you? What's your favorite affordable brand? Okay, so my favorite affordable brand is... Now, when you go with gouache, my favorite affordable brand... Hold on. Okay. I need that to be straight. Because if not, it's going to drive me crazy. Um, now, of course, Arteza is like the most affordable you're going to get when it comes to uh, gouache. That's like... It's like mad cheap. It's like the student grade brand. If you're really thinking about it, so I'm I'm still gonna continue my um, sketch that I started last night, and then I just was putting out paints to save time, you guys. So yeah, Arteza is pretty much going to be um, your most kind of affordable thing. All right, I don't know why I put out this color because I don't really need this color. I really need the purple. I'm using my, my favorite Prismacolor pencil. This is what I use all the time to do my sketches, no matter what I do, whether I'm doing it on the canvas or I'm doing it somewhere else. This is the favorite place that I use. So my favorite brands in, in what I consider affordable is Arteza. Arteza's, Arteza's pretty affordable. I got like a big, a big uh, pack. Let me show you guys. Sorry for all the noise. So I got this big pack of Arteza. And I think it was like, I don't even know, like 24 maybe. And I got this for like 20 bucks, 20, 25 bucks or something like that. So I think that's super duper um, affordable, right? Super duper affordable. Um, but are they great? No, they're not great. They're not great. I'm not even gonna lie about that. They're not. 
they I think they're great, especially if you're like doing something like this where we're doing like sketchbook vibes and we're really just like relaxing and chilling and you want something nice to do and yada yada yada. I think it's a wonderful kind of option or whatever. Um I think it's something great. But if you're you want to get like if you want to be able to like sell your stuff and blah blah blah, you know, I would definitely consider um the whole bind or I, I forgot what the other one is. There was another one that I had that was gouache. Oh, jelly gouache. Ooh, jelly gouache is my absolute favorite, you guys. Jelly gouache. I don't even have it out. I should have it out. But that was the first set that I bought when it came to gouache. Jelly gouache is also affordable. It's like little cups. It looks like jelly. You get it. And I bought it from like Amazon. And again, Amazon, good Lord. Uh, I bought it from Amazon and it was like, I don't even know, like $25 or something like that for like the whole thing. It was like a whole thing, you guys. Um, and you get like 18 colors, 19 colors. And I did like my whole uh, thing for Spooky Tober because I do like a whole series on my channel, which is coming up, you guys. I hope you're excited about that. Spooky Tober is coming up. So I do like, because I did that whole series, I did the whole series on watercolor paper with jelly gouache. And jelly gouache was super duper affordable and I absolutely love it. It came in like a, this beautiful pink container. It was like a whole thing. Um, but then now I felt like, okay, now that I really see that I like gouache, I would, I would definitely recommend that you go with jelly gouache in the beginning if you feel like you really need something um beautiful so i hope that answered my answered your question that was like a long <laughs> that was like a long jelly gouache question um but keep them coming that was a, a good question julia that was a good good question i appreciate you you asking that so yeah um i definitely recommend that because this is just if you don't really know if you're gonna like something I don't recommend you buy like a whole bind because whole bind is considered like top of the line with like people use that are like really, um, you know, like they sell their work or they doing like an illustration for a magazine. They use usually these high end kind of jelly gouaches or these designer gouaches and stuff like that. So yeah, it can really get, you know, it can really get pricey because I bought like two things, you guys. Okay, I'm making like this little egg squash. I don't even know what you call this thing. Uh, is it like a, is it a squash? I don't even know. Whatever, but we're drawing it. We're going with it, right? Um, so I bought like six tubes of that, like jelly squash or six tubes of this regular squash from Holbein. And that thing was like so damn expensive. Like one tube was like five, six dollars. And I was like, for real? <laughs> Is that what we're doing here? And, um, but then once I like swatched it out, I kind of realized how intense it was. Like, let me show you guys. I'm not going to show you like the whole sketchbook because I want you guys, I'm going to do like a tour later on and I, I want you guys to be surprised once we get to like 50 flowers. So this is kind of, I always swatch out my stuff when I first buy it. This is like my first four colors that I bought. And I was like label it and da 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 and do all the things. So I had like the purple and then I went like to magenta. Of course, my favorite color. Like <laughs> I wouldn't be me if I didn't have magenta in there. Okay, stop playing. So anyway, um, this was like a whole thing, and it was beautiful. Absolute insanity! How beautiful that it truly was. Um, and you see how how like. Uh, concentrated, how saturated the colors are straight out of the tube. You're not going to get that with an Arteza. You're just not. You know, you're going to get, um, you know, quite a watery type of existence. That's what you're going to get with Arteza. All right? <laughs> not, you know, not that I have anything against it, because of course I bought it, but, you know, it's not something you're going to be like, oh my God, these are so high quality. These are so dope. I love them. You know, I'm not even going to do too much more sketching because I did a lot of it last night. I just, I feel like I want to paint, right? Um, so let's get into the paint, baby. 
I'm going to go left to right. That way I don't get my, my poor hands in the paint. Because I don't want to do that. So, yeah. Definitely, um, you, you get what you pay for. You definitely get what you pay for when it comes to any of those things. Arteza, sometimes when you're dealing with Arteza, that thing dries so, so chalky. It's like when you buy like a cheap watercolor and it looks like chalk <laughs> afterwards. Um, I'm looking for a green color, you guys. Okay, I found my green. So, yeah, when you, um, so, yeah, you, I mean, there's so many different options that you can kind of go with. But this is like my, this is like my absolute favorite besides oils and acrylic. And I don't even use oils that much, you guys, anymore, which is funny because I used to be heavily, heavily into oils for real. I was. I was, like, so heavy into oils. Um, it wasn't even funny. I'm going to wet this area first. Because I want to just, like, get it translucent, get it moist. You know how we do. You need to be moist, sis. <laughs> like, it's Sunday. Calm down. Calm down. Y'all need to get your mind out together. Get your lives together. Do the whole thing. Because we cannot. I cannot. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you so much. Um, I love the bow and your personality. Thank you, honey. I'm always curious. How did you guys find me? I'm always curious. Like, are people, like, recommending my channel? Did you come from the group? I'm always welcome into the family. Welcome to the Creative Girl Crew. So, yeah. Um, I'm like, calm down. <laughs> oh, man. So, what's been going on with me? Let's talk about that. Um, like I said, I've been feeling like depressed or whatever from the pandemic. So many things is kind of going on. Um you know, because I'm pretty much full-time, kind of working from home, doing all these things, grinding from the, from my couch. <laughs> like, what you doing, sis? I'm grinding from my couch. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much what I'm doing. Um, Trying to make some sh money and doing all the things that I feel need to be done from the couch, right? Um, I forgot to put out yellow. I didn't realize that. I mean, I do have out yellow, but a different type of yellow. Um, so yeah, so I'm pretty much grinding from the couch and then, you know, all last year we were pretty much really hardcore, like in the house and stuff like that. I swear to God, like the pandemic has been absolute insanity on my body. Okay. It's been absolute. You see how I just mixed like a touch of that yellow in there and it's been, um, pure insanity. Um, I mix a touch of the yellow and that touch of yellow will give me a vibrant kind of orange and I just mix it in with my magenta, which was absolute insanity, right? Pow, bow, 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 blackout. Okay. So anyway, um, now that I think about it, this thing is more yellow. You see it? It's more bumpy. I mean, you guys see it. The picture is up there, but this is the up close and personal. So that's what I'm gonna paint right now. Um, that thing is way more yellow, yellow, yeah. So yeah, it's like so. I'm gonna add a little more yellow than I normally would. So as I'm kind of like doing my thing from the couch. You know, you slowly don't realize that you're becoming a couch potato. You're gaining massive amounts of weight. You know, um, you out here with your hair looking crazy, looking like Don King. You, <laughs> you slowly start to figure out, I don't really know myself. I don't really know what's going on. Um, this is not normal. Something is wrong. Send help, right? Stop eating all the food. Stop eating everything that you eat. <laughs> 
like you have in your bag. You really just need to get your life together. So pretty much that's what's been going on. I've been silently here just like, you know, suffering and um, feeling all these emotions and just feeling all these different things and blah, 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 blah. And not really realizing that I'm like silently gaining weight and suffering and going down the drain, just not taking care of myself, not not prioritizing self-care and, and just not doing the things that I'm supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? Um, and, and that's difficult when you start to realize that sort of stuff about yourself. You start to be like, well, damn, you know, um, you really should be taking care of yourself. You really should. It's really, really hard. So I started to recently like have panic attacks again. And I I had a lot of panic attacks when I was in my 20s. I had a lot of panic attacks. You know, I used to freak out and be like, you know, I mean, we don't know why panic attacks get triggered. But like I really started to have those kind of whatever. Hey, hi. Hey, lady. Hey, everybody. Hi. How are you? How is everything going? Hi, everybody. I am good. How are you doing? I'm just over here having like a a, a whole like story about just anxiety and kind of getting your life together. That's pretty much what's going on here. Um, yes, indeed. Y'all see it like Nightbot is like, what? listen, let's keep it sweet and sassy, peeps. <laughs> yes, indeed. What's popping? You're good. I, I'm so happy to hear that. Yo, catch me up. Catch me up, you guys, in the chat. Let me know how you guys are doing. I really would love to know. I'm loving it. So, yeah. Pretty much that's what's been going on, you know. Um, Just really having a lot of anxiety. And, um, you know, recently, you know, I started to take on, like, a lot of, um, like, commissions and just different things that I have going on and stuff like that. And it's been, it's been a lot. Like, so then, so then I started to slowly just realize that, oh, snap, you're not really taking care of yourself. You're not really doing what you're supposed to be doing, yada, yada, yada. You're just like, (laughs) you know what I mean? Like, you're really just not prioritizing self-care at this point. You are like so busy just working, working, working. And that's where kind of like the sketchbook Sundays was born. Yes. And yes, indeed. I was listening. You are strong and you are a beautiful woman. Don't forget that. Thank you so, so much. You are strong and you are wonderful as well. Thank you so much for that. Um, yeah. So it's like pretty much that's what I've been feeling. That's kind of what I've been struggling with. And like yesterday, I had a really bad panic attack, and um, you know, what was just out there, just feeling the the blues of it all, and saying to myself, like, I mean, like, what are you doing to yourself? What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like it can be, be, it could be, it could be intense. Like with everything that's going on, you know, I have friends that. Um, so now I'm just trying to. Long story short, now I'm just like kind of trying to grasp and trying to find um, my peace and find, uh, you know, some semblance of like peace and harmony and all the things. You know what I mean? That's pretty much what I'm doing at this point. Um, And it could be hard, but this is something that's good for us, right? Finding our peace, finding our 
our self-care, prioritizing ourselves and kind of not like worrying about other people and what are they doing and are they okay? You know, a lot of times I can do that. You know, I get into to these things like, okay, are, is, is my, is that person okay? And is my family okay? Are they doing what they're supposed to do? Da, 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 da. And then we kind of forget to worry about ourselves. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I want to know how many of you guys are following along with me. Are you, like, getting out your sketchbook? Or are you just listening? Inquiring minds need to know, baby. (laughs) Inquiring minds need to know. I really want to know. So, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much been been the gist of kind of what's been going on with me. Um, trying to stay positive. And I think this is it's a little green in there. But I'll put, I'll put a little bit of an orange. Um, we'll get a little bit of that going in there. Because they have a lot of these little dips and divots on top of this squash thing. And again, I don't even know if it's a squash or not, but listen, it's going to be a squash today. (laughs) It's going to be a squash today, okay? (laughs) Um, I'm grabbing my gouache right now. Yes, indeed. That's what I'm talking about. Go get that gouache, honey. Let's do it. Let's do it, do it, do it. Yes. Okay? I'm excited about that. Let's do it. (laughs) Yeah. So, I mean, that's pretty much what's been going on. So, like I said, over the month, I'm like, yeah, I really need to take my time and really think about, um, wait a minute, you guys. Oh. I actually need to make sure, hold up. I need to, I need to tweet. If you loving this and you happen to be on Twitch or anywhere in the world, go ahead and share it, love it, like it, or take a clip of it on Twitch and tweet me. Tweet me, honey. Okay, because I would love to see your work, see what you guys have going on. Um, I need to share this out really, really quick, you guys. Share it out. We are the one woman band today. Okay, so we're going to share it out. Shout out to my moderator that usually holds me down. She be holding it down, y'all. I'm actually tweeting, and so if you happen to be putting the replay, go ahead and fast forward like a minute or so so you don't have to be hearing me ramble along. (laughs) Oh, my God, it's so funny. Oh man. Like tune in. We live. Tune in. I said tomb. Oh my god. <laughs> Siri, she don't be liking me. I swear to God. She be like, whatever. I'm just gonna be saying whatever on her sh- <laughs> Siri be like, uh-uh, I cannot. Now I got a balloon up in there, not not a balloon. Okay, and we're off. Okay, and we're done. So, yeah, you know, um, about a month ago, whatever, like I said, it was like, okay, I need to figure out what I'm going to do here. I'm mixing in that that green with the yellow because it really doesn't matter. They kind of go together so we can work it out. We can work it out. So, yeah, um, I said to myself, I started to feel like I was getting into a slump, and then I started, like, my health started to suffer. Because, you know, when you're depressed and you start feeling some type of way, it's pretty much, it affects everything in your whole life, right? So, that's pretty much what was going on. I started to feel like, yo, um, 
this depression ain't no joke. So I need to figure out something to do in my business that wasn't going to be like hindering me from doing other things. Um, or, or it was going to give me an outlet and it was going to like kind of make me remember why I kind of got into art. Um, you know, cause a lot of times people, um, well, for me, a, a lot of the stuff that I do is I teach, you know, I teach, I try to inspire people and make people feel loved and seen and all the things. And it's like, you know, sometimes I forget to leave enough for myself. And this can kind of go for anybody for real. Like you, you, you forget to kind of leave enough for yourself and then you end up empty, right? Cause you're not pouring into your own cup, <laughs> you know, so to speak, you're just not doing it, you know? So that's pretty much what that, what that was all about. Like, that's pretty much what happened with that. Um, I'm going to bring this down just a smidge. Wait, no, let's leave it where it is. And that way you guys can see the whole thing. So, yeah, taken from me, it's important that you pour into yourself. So, lately, I've been like, and especially with Spooky Tober coming up, y'all, I got something for y'all coming up, okay? I'm already like in the middle of the planning stages of Spooky Tober, kind of figuring out exactly what we're going to be painting, what we're going to be doing, um, kind of what's going to be happening with Spooky Tober. I'm picking out like, um, I already did like a poll like a month or two months ago to try to figure out exactly what you guys wanted to see. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on. So I'm pretty much following through with what you guys said you wanted to see. That's pretty much what I'm doing at this point. And hopefully you guys are excited for that. Because there's going to be a lot of screen caps happening. Okay, so this is a little bowl down here. This is a little teeny tiny bowl that we're going to kind of have here. Hopefully you guys went to go grab your sketchbook. Like, yeah. Again, I just put like three or four photos together to kind of get me like a whole scene going. Um, so this, I'm not following any particular reference photo at all, but you guys can follow the reference photo that I have on top of my photo um, with the little pumpkin and yada, yada, yada. Hopefully you can see that. And hopefully you can follow along. And hopefully you join us. If you do it, I want you guys to join me on Discord so that I can start to see what you guys are painting. And we can enjoy it. And then you can put, like, funny memes up. Because I have, like, a channel on the Discord where you can put funny memes. You can talk about art, and, and and then you have, like, another channel where you can actually vent and, like, talk about your struggles and, like, what you're going through, what's really happening in your life. Are you okay? Like, are you okay, sis? Like, blink twice if you're okay. <laughs> like, blink twice if you're okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, I was really, like, like I said, I was freaking out yesterday, went to the doctor, the doctor, he was like, I was like, doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got to <laughs> I don't know what I saw. It just came in my head. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I'm cracking up, y'all. I'm cracking up. Send help for real. Um, I'm, I'm just mixing this magenta together with a little bit of yellow to give me all the colors. Okay. So, yeah, I'm like... Yo, I'm like, so what's going on, Doc? Like, is this something wrong with my heart? You know, I felt like my heart was beating out of my chest. 
I feel like something is wrong with me, da 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 da. You know, I need help. I need like some sort of guidance, da da da. And he's like, "What?" He was like, "Okay, we che- we checked your cardiac your cardiac muscles. Um, like, sis, we don't we you know what I mean? Like, you know, he's like, "Are you okay? Like, I mean, do you feel like you have like um some? Are you getting like muscle spasms? Do you feel like?" Um, are, are you getting, like, you have a history of, like, panic attacks, da, da, da. And then I had to really kind of think back of, like, oh, snap, you're right. I do have, kind of have, like, a history of panic attacks and kind of, like, freaking out. And, I mean, let me tell you, most people that's loud and with big personalities, believe me, they be bugging, Okay. We be bugging, okay? Don't even think we don't. We be in here bugging. So, yeah, it's like, um, so he really kind of, like, broke it down, like, okay, sis, uh, I'm not quite sure what you're talking about, but, you know, your muscles, is, you know, your, your heart is good. They did EKG. They did everything, like, because I was convinced like something was wrong, like I was having some sort of thing. And again, I used to get them when I was younger, you know, in my 20s. Really, like it happened right after 9-11 for real. And if I really think about it. um, And of course, this is like the 20, I don't even know, what is it, the 20th anniversary of 9-11? <sighs> so yeah, I'll be thinking about some deep shit in the background, like damn. You know, are you doing the right thing? Are you, you know, are you, like, really freaking out? What's really happening with you? Are you okay? <laughs> like, are you okay? <laughs> you know? Uh, comment below if you can relate to what I'm talking about. Because I'll be like, hmm. Let me come. Let me zoom in for y'all a little bit so y'all can see what's going on. There you go. Boom. So, yeah, I'm like, damn, you know, are you okay? Um, so, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to be okay. But I have to start doing stuff that's going to make it where I'm relaxed and not really stressed out. And this is a great way for me to do it because I feel like I can just chill with you guys. And there's no stress. There's no nothing. You know, we're just chilling. We're just chillaxing, baby. All right. All right. All right. I have nowhere to mix these colors. Definitely get yourself a big mixing, yada, 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 so you can mix things several times. Because I know I have. All right. Let me get up for a minute. Now, usually I try to keep these things below a, um an hour. Because I don't want to bore you guys to death. But still, um, I feel like going a little longer today. You guys want me to go a little longer than that? Because I feel like we have so much to chat about. I haven't seen you guys in like two weeks. I feel like maybe. So I'm going to mix a little blue together because I want to get like a darker color. Sorry, I'm blinding you guys to death with that. I want to get like a darker color. Um, So I'm going to mix some of this. Blue and brown will give you a dark, almost a black, right there. Blue and brown will give you almost a black. So there we go. So I got like a dark color now, because that's what I kind of needed. So that's why I put it off to the side somewhere. <clears throat> So, yeah, I really felt like I was bugging. And I wasn't really living my best life like I should. <laughs> like you do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to put a little bit of darkness here. But I need to add a lot more water. So it's not as dark. You see that looks really dark? But it's really not as dark. 
as we think it's going to be. But it looks really dark. Now, the key to this, if you don't really like it, you could always just lift it up with a piece of paper, piece of paper towel, like if you feel like it's too dark. That's usually what I do. But there's no rules to it, you know? You can really just do whatever you feel. You can do whatever you feel like doing when it comes to this stuff. So, yeah, that has been pretty much how I spent my weekend. Freaking out in the corner. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> okay. That's pretty much what's been going on here. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. All right, so I have a yellow kind of whatever you call it over here. So I'm getting a little bit of that. A little bit of that, a little bit. Pretty much got straight up yellow. These yellow things, I don't even know what, they, what they're called. I've never really seen them. Maybe it's like something native to another country. Or maybe because I don't eat a lot of vegetables like I should. Maybe that's why I don't know what they're called. But they're like these yellow things that like spike up. So I'm gonna, I'm we're, we're gonna, just, we're just gonna pop those in just to feel like we did something with our lives. Okay, that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing right now. I feel like that's too pink, so I'm going to go with the, like, lighter yellow. We'll do a, a lighter yellow. I feel like it looks better. It shows up better on our paper. Because I already have, like, a um, a toned kind of paper already. So I feel like that shows up a whole lot better when I put that in there. Uh-oh. I always do that. Turn my light off. Like, why are you turning your light off? Huh. Like, what? what is going on with your light? Oh, I know what happened. It got closed down. Like, there we go. There we go, honey. Like production, what happened? <laughs> like you don't know what you doing over there. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that's the gist of that whole thing. And look at it, it's coming together, y'all. And of course, we may not finish the whole thing, but it's all about the vibes. It's all about chilling, doing something relaxing in our sketchbooks, doing a little self-care. We're not going to be worried about, like, the bills and the kids and the drama or whatever you have going on in your life. Do something good for yourself. Do something where you're not worried about, like, other people or how they feel about stuff, da 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 that's what it's all about. Nice, chill vibes. So I'm going to get some red here. Because I want to. It's like a reddish brown. Because I want to. This is like a basket that happens to be in our reference photo. But I mean, you don't really have to do it like that if you don't want to. But it heals a basket. Um, I'm going to put the little ring around there. So 
So it's like a, a reddish brown or something like that. And I feel like that's too dark still. I don't think that's going to like really show up on camera. It's, it's not going to really show up, period. When people take pictures of it or whatever, it's not going to really show up. Hey, how are you? Hi. Tango Man is in the house. Hello, what is popping? Welcome. I've seen you also on my Instagram. Thanks for part of being the, the uh, good Lord. I can't even speak. <laughs> Thanks for being part of the Creative Girl family, okay? What's popping? <laughs> oh, my God. That's too much going on. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm in here. We in here just chilling, doing a little bit chillaxing, okay? So, yeah. I want to know what you guys want to see. Like, for the new Discord, I, that new Discord, I don't even know what I'm doing with this with this basket, so we're going to wing it, okay? Um, we are going to wing it, all right? What, what do baskets usually look like? I don't know. We're going to put, like, a thing, and then we'll do, like, another thing right here. Again, it's no pressure. Usually I do a lot of high demand like work when it comes to um painting. Like people want their portrait drawn. Like what what happened to my mom's nose? Why didn't you do it properly? You didn't put the the <laughs> you didn't put the mold on the right area of the nostril. What happened to her eye? Why is it up there? So yeah, um that's pretty much how that goes. Um so when it comes to these sketchbook things, I want to just, like, do, no, like, no pressure, no demand. It's just like, okay, um, if my basket looks like crap, guess what? That's our business, right? So we're going to do a lumpy, weird, <laughs> we're going to do a lumpy, weird basket today, all right? Like, do you love it? <laughs> Like, are you loving my basket? Do you? Oh, the good thing about gouache is that you can actually go over it. And you can go really, really light, like watercolor. Or you can go really, really, like, opaque, like um, like acrylic. Or even oil paint. Like, if you really want to put it, put it in those terms, right? You can go really, really, like, light and whatever when it comes to that. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. And a good thing about your sketchbook is you can do these sorts of things. You can kind of like experiment. You can like, you don't have to show anybody. Like I just happen to be on the internet showing you guys what's in my sketchbook and we're doing the sketchbook together, but you don't have to show anybody. You can do whatever you want. So if you want to draw like, um, King, I forgot what his name is. King Jung E, I think his name is. He's like a famous uh, artist. And he does like these weird, um, not weird, but they're like, he does like nudes in his sketchbook. He does straight up nudes, you guys. Like people be in there bucket naked, okay? And he still gets hired and like whatever. Like people don't care. They'll be like, oh, so did you really have, like, naked people in there? <laughs> like, did you really have, like, somebody's with JJ out? Did you? Like, yeah. He's like, yeah, I did. Like, how do you feel about it? You know what I'm saying? People's with JJ be straight up out. Like, it's not a game. <laughs> Hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Your sketchbook, you do whatever you feel like you need to do. So, yeah, here we are. We got the lumpy kind of. And I'm really loving the sketchbooks for real because I never used to keep a sketchbook like that. A lot of the things that I'd like to like paint or draw or things that I'd happen to do are like off the cuff. It's like, oh, boom. You know, I really want to do something just for me. Da da da. da. Um, 
you know, I, I just like kind of haphazardly think about things. I, like I have an idea, you know, and I'm like, Ooh, I have an idea. Let me go ahead and paint that idea. You know what I'm saying? And kind of that's the way things happen to turn out is you get that sort of thing. You know, I'm really loving these like pops of red. So I'm going to pop something here. These are supposed to represent like little cherries or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to pop like little bits of it right here. I don't see any over here in this area, but I'm going to put it in there anyway. Right? We're going to put it in there anyway. Um... So, yeah, look at that. That looks so cute, so pretty, so pretty. Yes, indeed, okay? So, yeah, um, just explore. Just do what you can. I'm going to put on a little bit of music because we're kind of going into the hour mark. And then we're going to probably, you know, we're going to chill. We're going to paint. I want to know what you guys are watching. I always ask this question. I want to know what you guys are watching. What do you guys want to see for um, Christmas, for Spooky Tober and all the things? Um, I plan on going all out. Like I said, I have so many things kind of planned for what I want to do with you guys. And hopefully you love it as much as I do. We got a little bit of elevated music going. Zweeba, zweeba. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn it down a little bit so we're not like. Ba, 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 ba. Zweeba, zweeba. Yada, yada. Zweeba, zweeba. <laughs> na, 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 na. Zweeba, zweeba. Mm. Na, da, da, da. Zweeba, zweeba. Na, 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 na. Zweeba, zweeba. Like, na, na, na. You, you have an elevator, you like, come on, elevator music. Or you want to hold, like. <laughs> oh, man. I be swear, I swear my mind is like so crazy. I be thinking of the craziest stuff for real, you guys. It's like insanity. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I be thinking of the most absolute bananas things. <laughs> ba 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 ba. Da 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 da. All right. So let's continue. Now that we got our little elevator music on. Da -da -da -da. I'm probably going to go a little bit darker. Because I want it to be like a little bit darker. But I just grabbed some purple. You probably can't even see what I'm doing. Let me put it off over here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. A little bit of purple. Ba 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 ba. Zweeba zweeba. Dee 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 dee. I want this to be a little bit darker. Do 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 do. Do do do. Ba 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 ba. Ba ba. Do do do. Do do do. Like we going on the elevator, right? <laughs> like, are you in the elevator? <laughs> oh 
Mm, losing my mind. This is probably the second um second basket I've ever really done. And they have like some of them have like really intricate kind of weave patterns and stuff like that. No 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 you ever think you could be like a jazz singer and be like zwee zwee zwee? <laughs> you wouldn't get paid at all. It's like, sis, just keep your day job because we don't know what's going on. I happen to have this is considered like acrylic wash. So once you lay it down. It's down, honey. Ain't no getting that back up once you lay it down. Right? And then I gotta put like a little bit of greenery here, I feel like. All right, sis. That was great. All right, I think I've had enough of elevator music. Let's do it. Dreamy. So dreamy. I got a playlist called Dreamy. All right, so there we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna turn it down a smidge. Cause I don't know how loud it sounds for you guys, and I don't want it to be too loud. I don't want it to be distracting. Let's just say that. Let's just say that. Let's put it out there, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put another little connecting yada yada right here. And these are more like red. So see, it's starting to come together. It's looking like a basket, like somewhat, right? It's just trying to look like a basket. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Trying to look like a basket. But of course, this is the first layer. You got to layer acrylics. I mean acrylics. Good Lord. Good Lord. I got acrylics on the brain. You got to layer your wesening. Layer it, honey. Your gouache. You got to layer mostly anything that you're trying to do anyway. Or really think about it. Especially if you want it to look good. You got to layer it. Take your time. Don't feel like you need to rush. Uh, okay, so I see what's going on here. Kind of looking at my reference photo back and forth. So then we have like little dashes right here. I think this one is a little bit too, that's too dark, but that's okay. All right, now the rest of this, I'm going to let that part dry because I feel like I need to go in and kind of do some other stuff with it. So I'm going to let it dry for now. Mm -hmm. Do do do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So I'm going to put a light coat of this yellow orange on top of my pumpkins, schmunkins. So I tried to add a little bit of a... Mm, that's too dark. It's too dark, honey. So I'm going to add it up here to my little stem. Mm -hmm. Got a little stem going up there. Let me um, zoom you guys in so you can see what's going on. All right, so I want to make this stem a little darker. It's supposed to be like a brown something. But again, everything always ends up looking like super dark, and I don't want it to look super dark. You see that, you guys? It's, but it's, it still has some like little bits of green in it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I added a bit of a darker tone to it. And of course, every, even though you lay something down a certain color when it comes to gouache, it's going to be, um, it's going to end up being a lot um, lighter once it dries. That looks cray cray though. I think that ha that has a lot of green in it. So I'm going to let it dry and do what it does. Okay. Uh oh. I still got green on my thing. Another good tip is to have like different, um, have two cups of water, two different types of water. So. One to clean your brush, another one to have like a clean dip of water because if you don't, you have all this dirty stuff going on in your gouache painting or watercolor painting, whatever you're using, really. And it's especially important when it comes to like a gouache painting because it gets so muddy so quickly. And you're like, damn, sis, like, what's going on? Why is my pumpkin is, like, super bright? Why are you so bright? <laughs> I don't have the right orange. That's what it is. I need to find an orange to brighten up my life. All right, so that toned it down a little bit. But it also made it look muddy. I don't like that. I don't like that. So, yeah. All right, that pumpkin looks weird. Very freaking weird. I'm gonna have to mix a different yellow together. Yellow and red will give me what I want. Cause I don't know what's going on there. Don't ask me. All right, so that's a little bit better. All 
little it's a little bit better hmm all right I'm gonna let that dry because at this point it's gonna turn into a mess Mm-hmm. All right, so I don't know what's going on in here. So I'm always asking you guys this. What are you guys watching right now? It's kind of hard to find something good. Mm-mm. All right, I'm going to switch over to this green. All right, so we got a little something, something going on back there. It looks okay. I like the lighter green, yellow green. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really partial to the yellow green, the more muted green. I feel like I like that a lot better. I'm going to put a little something here. You see that thing? Like... That's the good thing about gouache, because you can kind of go on top and put, like, this, like, green, whatever, whatever. Have, like, things kind of popping up. It doesn't necessarily have to be, like, whatever. Like, whatever. All right. Now, let's go to the flowers really quick. We're going to go to the flowers. And let's zoom out. Boom, there we go. All right, so let's go to the big pumpkin. We did the left side. We making progress. Again, we, we probably won't be able to finish everything today, but it will be a nice little chill painting session. Okay? All the things. I think it will be, you guys. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that follow button if you're on Twitch. I'm trying to get to 50 followers, you guys, at least by next month sometime. By, well, it's September already. But, yeah, I'm trying to do something at least by October. You know what I'm saying? For real. Comment below and let me know how you're feeling, what's been going on, catch me up about your day, tell me what you're thinking about today's sketchbook session. Feel free to ask me any questions, if you have any questions about art or anything. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do, do, do. Okay. All right, so I did pansies. I had pansies going on over here. Um, ooh. I had some green on my hand. That's nasty. Right, I'm going to wet my pumpkin up real quick. Get it moist. <laughs> I 
Okay, we're going to wet that up really quick. And then, this is usually how I talk to myself in my head when I'm painting. Like, okay, here's the order of operation, Danielle. This is what you're doing first. Okay, you got to do the eyes first, then do the lips, then make sure they're this far apart. You had to do all this math in your head about how you want things to kind of look or whatever. <laughs> I did a bunch of little things here. Um, maybe I should do this little flower first. So y'all can kind of see. Let me do the flower. And then we'll do like the pumpkin. We'll fill that in. Because I have a little pansy outline right here. So you guys, if you want to like see how I do a pansy. But this is just my own way. You know what I mean? This is just my own way, okay? It's a million one ways, baby. All right. Mm. Mm. Pansies, pansies. Get the pansies, man. All right, the pansies that I want to do are pink. <laughs> of course. Did you have any doubt? Like you do. <laughs> but I'm doing some purple ones inside of my pumpkin, though. All right. Let me turn on the brightness so y'all can see what's going on for reals. <laughs> yeah, so Oh my god, did you guys see the Bob Ross documentary? Jesus Christ. If you haven't seen that yet, you don't know what you're missing. It's absolute insanity. I kind of left that feeling so sad. Uh, but it, it was so necessary for people to see, though. Like, even though it was like a raw documentary about, like, his life and, like, the things that he, his legacy, pretty much. Um... I still feel like it was, you know what I mean? Like it was it was a necessary thing for kind of people to kind of see what's going on, what like behind closed doors. Cause you never really know what's going on with somebody. Like you may feel like, oh boom, you know, um, this person is has a like all this fame and this fortune and da da da. -da. That's why you really you really never really know what's going on with somebody. Somebody can be like literally going through like the worst time of their life. Um, you know what I mean? Like they're going through the worst thing that could possibly happen to them. Um, but they will never show it, right? Because I mean, who's gonna like? First of all, nobody comes to watch a Bob Ross uh, video or whatever to hear about, you know, to hear about him say, oh, well, I hate my partners. <laughs> or, you know, my partners suck. Or, you know what I mean? Like, they're trying to steal my legacy type of thing. You you know what I mean? Like, you never would, would think that that was even going on. I mean, even to this day, I thought, like, he owned the rights to his own story um, I never in a million years would have thought anything other than that, for real. Never in a million years. But again, like I said, you never really know. You know, seeing the person that he was and, you know, may he rest in peace. Um, and just seeing his legacy and this, all of that, you know, you would have never really known what drama was going on behind the scenes. And 
I always tell people this, like, even in our group on Facebook, I'll be like, yo, I've been putting up, like, little memes and little things like that. Like, yo, be careful because you, you got to be mindful of the people you get in bed with, the people you get in business with. I mean, it's it's for real. You know, it is, um, it's the real deal. Holy feel. It's, it, you know what I mean? Like, life is real out here. People will have you out in these streets ready to strangle. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. They will have you out here straight up ready to strangle them. I'm gonna do look like a little bit of purple for my little bottle here. And I'm only gonna do it on the outline of the bottle. Um So, yeah, I don't know what it was, but I really felt his pain. I really felt their pain in that documentary. It, I really did. Like, I felt... Um, you know, not that I'm as famous as, as um, Bob Ross or I'm, as, I'm famous at all, okay? Not yet, okay? We're going to speak it into the universe. But it's like, I felt the pain because I've dealt with people who who have come into my life or in my brand. And we probably all have dealt with people that have come into your life, come into your, into your circle, come in, like you dealt with friends, family, whoever it is. Um, and, you know, you're like, damn, you know, that person just took, took, took. And... Um, and I feel like I'm getting emotional about it. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm just getting really emotional about it. But it's like, you know, you feel like that. You're like, damn, like this person just took, took, took from me. And, and like, especially when you give so much and all you want to do is see somebody win. Like I can see that in him. You know what I mean? And you can see in him that all he wanted to do was just, you know, help people create something special um that's pretty much all he wanted to do and i really felt that because i'm like that's all i want to do too and i and i know people that just come in and like oh you know um you know i love what you're doing or whatever whatever but yeah that's something you guys definitely need to check out. That was an insanity. I'm going to tell you that right now, you guys. Um, that was absolute insanity. I cried halfway through the whole show. Um, you know, I really felt for his son. I, and, and then I'm like thinking to myself, like, damn, if I build an empire like that and I have... You know, you want to leave a legacy. You want to leave that to your kids. I know he. that's probably what he was thinking in his head. Like, that was the last thing he'd think on his death, but I need something to leave to my kids. And, you know, when your kids are not really prepared or they don't have, like, the same mindset as you and they don't have, like, the same work ethic as you, the same grind, you like, damn, get your life together, um, people. <laughs> I need you to get your life together so you can take over this legacy or whatever. It's sad. I don't know. It was sad. It was sad, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. It was super sad. Uh, uh, a little lot going on. Um, but yeah, I mean, come to find out, all this time, uh, them crazy people didn't even own them crazy people uh, that run that company. They were just taking that man's legacy the whole time. Like, nobody would have ever thought of that, right? Because I, I, I know, I know for a fact, seeing Bob Ross's, like, materials, seeing all his bobbleheads and the cups and the this and the that in the store, I've even seen it in Michael's, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's cute. I'm thinking, like, his son owns it. Like, you know, some one of his family members own it. Comment below, like, if you've seen the movie or you like, feeling what I'm talking about. Um... 
I got so excited about it, my my thing started to bleed through, but whatever. We're going to go with it. Go with it, honey. Go with it. Okay? So, it's like... Um... Okay, I got distracted for a minute. I had to sing that. <laughs> I swear to God, it's like you get like dog brain, like, ooh, shiny. <laughs> ooh, shiny. I can't wait to see it. Like, out of here. You know what I mean? Hey, Fire Magician is in the his house. What's popping, honey? I haven't seen you in a minute. Hey. Hey, 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 Fire Magician is in the his house. Hi. Yes, indeed. Um. So, yeah, I'm like, sis. So, yeah, you think, like, to, like comment and let me know. Have you seen the Bob Ross movie? What, what do you feel about it? Do you feel like, I mean, some people feel like the, the, that, that Bob Ross company wasn't wrong. Like they, they wasn't wrong in how they felt about it. They wasn't wrong in what, in how they went about doing things. Um, I mean, I can't even imagine like sis was even like denying that they had a, like an affair and all that. So I was like, sis, nobody like, <laughs> nobody was trying to claim you like that. Calm down. You gotta be happy. Somebody claiming you. Because nobody, I don't, you know, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it's true or not, but, I mean, because poor man is not here to, to, like, let us know whether it's true or not. But, um, yeah. <laughs> it's not looking good, okay? But she was like, that was her only response. Like, that was their only response. Like, they was upset. They were so upset. Like, I... I I don't even understand. They was like so upset that um, he had even said anything about the affair. They like overlooked the whole thing about the fraud and yada yada yada. So I was like, "Damn, sis! Like you ain't even thinking about the the the." <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's like so weird. <laughs> oh boy! Like I, I did a little cat over here in the corner, you guys. It's a weird cat, but you know, just go with it. Just go with that, honey. Um, yeah, but it was absolute insanity. I was like, damn, um, you better be glad in, anybody's even claiming you, sis, because you was looking like, you know, and I, I don't like to talk about people, but, you know, but, you know, you got to have a little tea going. Um, sis was looking like Tales of the Crypt. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> Hit the like button. We feel like she was looking like. Oh, Tales of the Crypt. I'm not even gonna lie. She was for real. I was like, damn. I was like, Bob, come on now. Uh, that's what I was thinking in my head. Um, but then I was just sad over it. I just was. Um, I don't know what to do with his poor head. So I'm gonna leave his head alone for now. I'm gonna leave his poor little kitty cat head alone. See his little kitty ears? He's so cute. You can, like, pet him in the corner. I don't know why he's so little, but listen, I had to add, like, some sort of cat. It is what it is. Like I said, just go with it. Just calm down. Just calm down. Just calm down, honey. Um. All right, this stuff is drying down here, so I don't want to mess with it. I'm going to start, like, dilly-dallying over here with the pumps. The pumpkins, pumpkins. So yeah, I was like, uh, uh. I know, I know, Bob wasn't messing with that. Sis was looking hideous. Uh, <laughs> I mean, even when she was looking, even when she was young, she was looking hideous. I was like, damn. I was like, damn, sis. Damn it. Like, damn it. <laughs> Oh my god, I've been on here too long. <laughs> I'm cracking up talking about people like you going to hell, Danielle. You going to hell talking about people like that. Listen, I can't help that sis was looking like that. Okay. And got the nerve to be stealing from somebody. Like, really? <laughs> 
Mm, like you was looking like the crib keeper, sis. We know. We we seen it, okay? <laughs> oh man. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, okay, focus, Danielle. Focus. See y'all y'all are, y'all be encouraging me. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all be encouraging the shenanigans for real. Because I'm like, hmm. Like, sis. You know what was going on. Because I couldn't believe it when they was like... Yeah. You having affairs, okay? Looking like the Crypt Keeper? Stop it. (laughs) Like, you... (laughs) Oh man, I can't. <laughs> oh God. All right. Stop it, Daniel. I know it's been a minute. I've just been trying to stay busy. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. What's up, fam? Um, yes, I definitely understand. Listen, I've been busy with like we've been mad busy doing our thing or whatever. That's all you can do really do nowadays is just to try try to stay busy. Try not to I switched over to a bigger brush, you guys. Um try to stay busy, try not to lose your mind. <laughs> Which can be hard. As you can see, I'm talking about people looking like Crip Keeper over here. All right. <laughs> oh man. Like, just try to stay productive type of thing. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, and it's difficult these days to try to stay busy and, and just tr- try to stay positive with everything that's going on in the world. You just want to be like, mm, I don't think I'm going out today. Like, I swear to God. I go outside, like, I've been dodging people left and right, I swear. I go outside, I'm like, don't touch me. Don't talk to me. (laughs) Don't talk to me. People want to have full blown conversation. I'm like, are you still getting close to me in the middle of uh, a what's her name? Like, nah, we ain't good like that. I don't know you like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I do it to my daughter, too. My daughter, she come down here from New York. I be like, "Uh uh-uh. Uh-uh, sis. Uh Uh-uh. You need to uh, uh, disinfect. You need to take a shower. Don't touch me. Take all your clothes off. All that. Have you had any coughing in the last seven days? I don't be playing with her. Like, don't come down here with that. Yeah, you been coughing? I'll be giving her like a survey before she would come down here. Like, what's been going on? You had any fever and sweats? What? <laughs> she be like, Mom, you you playing around to stop it? I'm like, I don't care. You won't be getting no Thanksgiving this year. <laughs> Don't come down here, sis. Look, it's glossy. It's mad wet, but it looks wonderful. Look at that. So we got a full page going, full page spread so far, you guys. But again, it's no rush. This is a chill vibe sketchbook session just in case you guys don't know um again you can play me in the background as you flow through your day okay if you happen to be pun the replay yes and yes oh my god welcome to today's art stream okay this is where the crazy art lady slash simming lady lives okay i'm not i'm not displaying my sims today but Best believe it will be some simming going on this week. <laughs> to all my Sims fam out there, 
Y'all do know, don't forget to join the Discord because the new Discord is here. Y'all do know that, um, oh my God, a new pack is dropping on, not new pack, it's a new refresh for Spa Day. They're going to have nails. Like, ew, they're going to have nails on the Sims, you guys, okay? Woo! I was like, stop playing. We're going to have nails. The nails have touched down, okay? <laughs> That's what I was thinking in my head. We are going to have some nails. Mm-hmm. Like, after they... I, I was, like, watching the, the like, playthrough or whatever. Not playthrough, but the live whatever that the Sims family puts up. Whatever you call them. The Sims page on YouTube I was watching. I was like, hmm. I was like, yeah, we're going to have Sims. I'm putting purple down. Fun fact. Purple and orange go together. Hmm. You love it? Yes, you do. Okay. And it is fall colors. Yes and yes. So we can do purple pansies up here in the front. But I'm I'm kind of diluting that or whatever. So yeah, I was watching the little Sims playthrough, whatever, where they had oh my god, and then they got a black creator uh Ebonics. Like stop playing. She done she hooked us up. Gave us some Sims with the nails. Like, oh my god. Yes, yeah, sis. <laughs> okay. Alright, so there's that. I wanted to just get a light coating. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what's going on. Hopefully you guys are following along. Again, join the Discord if you want to see. Because I want to see you guys work and it's a lot easier for you to post it in the Discord. Um, and I want to get Discord popping. Uh, it said my mom the same way too. Yes, exactly, exactly. Like I don't be playing. I don't be playing. You don't know. Like I be like, yo, don't come here. You you had any coughing going on? Like I'm not playing with you. I've been dodging people. My baby, my uh, uh, my son's father came down and like took him for half the summer. And they went on, like, their little excursion or whatever. They went on, like, a boys' trip. He was like, you can't go. It's for the boys only. I'm like, sis, I don't care. Even if, though we're not together, I want to eat. I need to live. <laughs> like, I want something to eat. Stop playing. Like, what? what's good? Or whatever. And he's like, oh, nah, you can't come because it's only for the boys. We're going to be doing boys' things and da 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 I was like, I don't care. Like, I want to eat. I need something to eat. Like, calm down. Anyway, so he came down, whatever. And even though he's fully vaccinated and all that, and he got all that stuff going on, what's popping, you guys? Welcome to the family. Hit that follow button. Subscribe. Like, if you're on YouTube. All the things. But, yeah, he came down or whatever. Was taking my son around. And... He was like, yo, I'm coming over. I'm coming to get him right now. Da, 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 da. I was like, okay, I don't know about you, but you can't come in here. Even though you fully vaccinated. I don't know where you been. Where your mouth been? What you been doing? <laughs> like, I like inquiring minds need to know. Like, I need to know what's going on. Okay? You ain't coming in here. Like, you need to take a bath or that before you come in here. You can't come in here, sis. It's just not happening. He's like, you bad paranoid. I was like, I don't care. I don't care. Goodbye. All right? I do not care. Mailman be showing up, be trying to knock on the door like, oh, it's the mailman. You know, I'm dropping off your package. Da, da, da. I was like, oh, really? You dropping off my package? Okay, bye. Just drop it right there. You don't need, I don't need to talk to you. <laughs> I swear to God, I mean, feel like, oh, I want to live in a bubble, you know, like, um, like the bubble boy, like if I could like live in a bubble and like accept my mail through the, <laughs> accept my mail through the bubble. So this is why I be having panic attack. Now you know why y'all, cause I'm paranoid and something wrong, something wrong with your girl. Okay. I need help. Send help. All right, but I've been avoiding that shit like the plague. I'm not playing. Like, don't come 
Don't come to my house. Don't even come to my window. <laughs> don't even come to my window either. Like, don't even come over here. Because I'm not, I'm not. We, like, I be like, yo, I be like, yeah, I rock with you. I love you or whatever. I don't care if you flew out of my out of my vagina like a dolphin, like my daughter like to say. I don't care. You ain't coming in here. Okay? It just ain't happening. It ain't happening, Captain. All right? <laughs> All right, so you see yellow right here? It looks weird, I know, but believe me, it's going to make sense in a little while. In a little while. But again, we may not finish the whole thing. We just vibing out at this point, yeah? Anything now? Oh my God! Honey, will you? Oh my God! Let me tell y'all. The doctor was like, oh, you you know, you've gained a lot of weight. You can't have, like, you can't have this. You can't have that. Um, You can't eat this salty food. You can't, you can't live. You can't breathe. You can't do anything. And those of you that know me, know me. Like, know me for real. Y'all know I just stopped smoking, right? I stopped smoking last year after 25 years of smoking, you guys. That was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I felt like I was going to die several times if I did not have a cigarette back then. It was so hard to get through it. And then it was like, sis, like, really? Like, for real? <laughs> like, for real? Now you're telling me I can't have no sugar, no salt. You can't live your life. You are just going to be... A old, raggedy, cranky woman in the corner. You can't have nothing. And then on top of it, if you go outside and you touch the wrong person, you just might get sick. Like, what? Where they do that at? You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, what? Y'all know that meme. <laughs> what are you like? Y'all know that meme? You be like, like what? <laughs> like you know, like it's like insanity. I'm like sis. Yeah. So yeah, it's like very sad. I was like, hmm. I don't know what's going on, but whatever. All right, we just, oh, so now the only thing that brings me joy is my art. And it's like, it's like all I have left in life. <laughs> it's like all I have left. And then I see everybody eating all the good cookies and all the good whatever. And I'm like, damn it. How was you get to eat all the good damn cookies? Why? That's not right. Oh, my God. Thanksgiving coming up. That's going to be the hardest thing I'm ever going to do in my life. I'm going to be so sad and so cranky, you guys. So I hope you guys are ready because it's going to be freaking insanity. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, uh, it's going to be insanity. Okay. I thought some of these things had yellow in it, but I'm going to go with it. We're going to go with the yellow in the middle. You can make it up as you go. Pansies, funny enough, have... Look at that. That's bleeding. Pansies have five petals, you guys. Mm. So now I'm just going to be miserable. I'm going to be miserable. But the only thing is I'll... Hopefully I'll be I'll be healthy... I'll be disease free. I will be losing weight, but inside I'm going to be screaming to the top of my lungs and I'm going to be very miserable. So, yeah. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Welcome to the shit show, okay? Because that's what's going to be happening. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm gonna be in freaking misery. <laughs> All right. That is, that's what's gonna be going down over here. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this sort of content, you like me doing these sketchbook Sundays. I try to do them like every other Sunday because I'm like super busy. But if you guys really, really like it, let me know. Comment below. Show me some love. Hit that like button. I'm just looking at my reference photo to make sure I am. I mean, I'm not following it exactly, but I'm getting like little bits and pieces of it. I like to like print out my reference photo so I can see what's going on. But if y'all like it, let me know. Hit that follow button if you on Twitch. Comment and show me some love. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so and now I got like a little bit of a uh, I got like a dark color a dark like kind of orangey red to go in between because you know Usually when you have these pumpkins, you have like this dark kind of recess down there. Like the in-between spaces. <laughs> That's the only way to explain it. It's like the in-between spaces. Right? I know you guys are painting something good. I need to see it. I want to see it. I want to see what you guys are painting. Somebody upload it on Discord if you happen to be on there. So I can see what y'all painting. If you painting at all. So I'm putting the little orange. It's really magenta, but when you mix it with yellow, like I said, it's a good mixture color. When you mix it, you get this like orangey, like haze, whatever. See it? That's going to give me what I want. Can I come over? <laughs> so in other news, did you hear that they was trying to... Um, they was pretty much trying to revamp OnlyFans for people to be like, you know, people that do like nudes and stuff like on there. Like, if you want to get naked, you want to get friggin' naked, let's go, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, get on, get on OnlyFans. That's where the naked people are, all right? Apparently, I didn't get the memo because, you know, I ain't built like that. <laughs> My, uh... I'm too much of a of a mommy. Too much in mommy mode. And my kids are older too. Like I'm like, hmm, I don't need you seeing my freaking <laughs> my lady parts, ma'am. <laughs> so anyway, they was trying to shut down OnlyFans. Not shut it the whole thing down, but they call themselves trying to revamp it and talk about um. Mm -hmm. So they call themselves trying to revamp the whole thing and like make it where people are not posting nudes anymore. They don't want you to be like posting that sort of stuff. So it's like, oh my God, uh, for real? You don't want people to post nudes anymore? When that's the way you made it initially. So that's a problem. When you make that stuff initially, like you put, you, you attract the energy that you put out there, right? And I tell people that all the time, like, so... And this goes for people that's in business too. So, like, if you if you put out there like, yo, this is all about nudes. Like, this is the nude community. Like, I want you guys to really just you know get raunchy and nasty, and like have your JJ's out on my website. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. See, exactly. I have heard about them changing it. Exactly, changing it. So they tried to change it or whatever, and um, it was like, hmm. 
Then people got pissed. People wanted to be able to flow free, have their vajayjays out, have their noodles flying free into the wind. You know, like if I want to put my noodle out there and I want to have like my noodle on the internet for everybody to see, people should be able to be free to have their noodle out, right? So that's pretty much what was going on with that. So I was like, damn, Zaddy. Like, you you know? Like, so then people got an uproar and it was like, no, I don't think so. You're not doing that. So then OnlyFans was like, never mind. We were just playing. <laughs> they was like, never mind. We was just playing. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. I can't. There's like, never mind. We was just playing. Uh, <laughs> I was like, so damn funny. <laughs> I cannot. It was like, never mind. We was just playing. <laughs> like, that's what y'all get. Being nasty. And now you mad. You trying to pull back. Like, nah, we good over here. I don't. We ain't trying to be. Known for having vaginas out. Oh, okay. Sure you not. Well, that's not going to happen. So anyway, that's what... That's... <laughs> the news has been going on there, okay? Alright, so I'm... To give the illusion, like, this is inside of a pumpkin itself. I'm putting, like, this dark kind of red. Just in case you guys don't know what I'm doing. And you think I'm just, like, bugging out. Believe me, there's a method to the madness, baby. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to I don't want to no more. So, yeah. The noodles in the vajayjays prevailed, and now people can have their noodles out for free. <laughs> noodles up. <laughs> All right, so this is looking good, you guys. Looking quite good. Let me put my legs up. Let me put my legs up. Mm, 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 mm. So I will also want to be able to do some fun, fun stuff, like on Discord. I want to be able to do like just stuff with us guys on Discord, um, like games, play games, play, could do a community night where we watch like movies and stuff like that. I want to know what you guys want to watch, like for spooky season. Are you into watching some of the movies with me? Because I have to still do some research for the type of movies that I'm going to be doing for Spooky Tober. Um, I'll give you a hint. Like one of the movies I'm gonna be doing um is what is it, Night and Living Dead? Was it Night and Living Dead? No, it's not Night and Living Dead. It's uh uh Night of the Damned, I think it is. That's what it is. So I wanna know like what do you guys feel about that? Um what do you wanna see? Okay, so Fire Magician says, I have so many pens and pencils, and it's hard to organize them. I have to stop buying so much pens and pencils every time I go to the, to the store. I know it's like such a problem, right? Like, oh my God. Believe me, I, I'm like a hoarder. I have like, I don't even know, like a hundred brushes. Like, I'm not even kidding you guys. I have small, big, little. I have so many brushes. Oh, you know, and, and it just makes sense also because I, um, you know, I sell my art. Like, so I have, like, paint party kits and stuff like that. Um, and, yeah, this is a good segue. Boom. If you want to buy my art or you want a paint party kit or you want some digital downloads. I don't know if I have digital downloads yet. On my, I think I took them down, but I have all sorts of things going on, plus blog posts of a lot of the different things. I'm actually gonna be putting a blog post up on my website um, about all the different movies that we're gonna be doing for Spooky Tober. It's basically I'm gonna be doing like a skit uh, parody 
and it's going to be combined with art. It's going to be so fun. I'm going to like dial it up, dial it up this summer, this summer, this winter. I'm going to dial it up. And it's going to be super exciting and I'm going we're going to be painting a screen cap. It's going to be 10 days of jam pack freaking insanity. Hit that like button if you're excited about it. Subscribe, follow of you on Twitch. Ew, ew. Okay. So yeah. Um, it's hard to find storage. What I like to do, let me show you guys. Um, let me see if I can show you without disrupting anything. Hold on. Oh, here it is. I want to show you guys like how I keep most of my stuff. I think I want to start doing like a pegboard or something like that. But this is how I keep most of my stuff. I I keep them in. Hold on, hold on, hold on, you guys. Mm -hmm. Ah, la, 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 la. So I keep most of my stuff in like these mason jars. So. And show and tell time, kitties. And I keep my flowers in there. And I have a bunch of mason jars all around. Just to make it really decorative and really cute. And I have, like, all these flowers. I have another thing. So I have, like, 10 or 12 of these mason jars. And they're all full of, like, brushes and paints and yada, yada, yada. So that's pretty much how I keep it. But, again, I think a good, like, a pegboard or something like that. You can get a pegboard and, like, clip your stuff up there. I'm thinking about getting a pegboard. But I don't want to really do it as a background because I want it to be my background. I want it to be more soothing and decorative and all of that stuff. So you won't see all of those things in there. You know what I mean? Yada, yada. So I hope that answered your question. Or I hope that gave you a little bit of inspo, inspiration. Okay. Yes. Um, so yeah, again, when you're dealing with watercolor and, and gouache, it's good to kind of lay down color, leave it, and then come back. So now that we kind of painted a little bit of here, I'm going to go back to my basket and kind of put like a light wash of uh, like brown or something like that. Dun, 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 dun. And actually, my brown is trying to dry up on me. Are you Are you trying to dry up? Like, for real? Why? Hmm. Doesn't want me to live my best life, I see. That's the problem with... Uh, you can always re-wet it if you really need to. So, like, spray it with something. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm gonna do like a light wash of this. It's really watered down over my basket just to make it fun. Yeah. And I'm gonna do it quickly so I don't lift that layer that I had up there. And you see that? As it dries, though, right? It'll get a lot lighter. Mm. And get a whole lot lighter, baby. See that? So it's starting to come together and look a lot more like a basket, but it's still kind of giving me those spaces in there. Ooh, ooh. <clears throat> Still kind of giving me the spaces and giving me the things that I need, okay? Now, if you happen to be following me on Twitter, definitely clip this and tag me in it. Shout a girl out. I would love to see. Y'all can also tag me in it if you happen to be on Instagram. And you following along or you want to show me like your 
your little um, sketchbook session that you're doing with me. I would love to see it. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of this um, pansy so you can kind of see it. And then that'll be that, baby. We did quite a bit of work today. Look at this sketchbook work. Watch me work. Look at that. That's beautiful, you guys. Just in case you guys didn't know, um, especially for those of you guys on Twitch, you're not always going to see all of my content if you're not following me on all my other stuff. Um, for those of you on Twitch, and these damn flies, oh, God. Get your life together, fly. Um, I put up, like, a whole video. I'm starting to try to get into, like, shorts on YouTube. But you know how that is. Like, they, they try to, like, they trying to be, like, TikTok pretty much. But, you know, it is what it is, okay? So I try to get into these shorts as of lately. So I uploaded these onto the shorts. So you guys can look at that. This is a little short that I have on my YouTube channel. And people would love that. People was loving it. People were loving it. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe they was loving it. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? All right. Here we go. Again. If we don't finish it today, I'm going to finish it, and then I'm going to post a short, which is good. I will post the short on YouTube of the finished piece, or you'll see it on my Twitter, Discord, whatever. And I will post the photo itself on the community tab on YouTube. I wish, I really wish uh, Twitch would get on board and get a community tab, like, especially if you have a channel, so you can, like, post stuff and show people stuff even when you're offline. Hello, you guys, and welcome to the family. Welcome to the bow. Ew, ew, ew. Yeah, so I really wish people were like, I really wish Twitch, not people, but I really wish you guys, I'm speaking to y'all, yes, that y'all would have a community tab so people can chit chat and do things and connect with the peeps when they're offline. Because if you're like me, I don't always get to upload in. Um, newsflash, you guys, I will, what's today? Today is, we, we're at the beginning of September. So as we start to move closer and closer to October, I'm going to slowly start to pull back on the amount of uploads that I'm doing because I have to get ready for Spooky Tober and that's going to take everything I got so I can knock your socks off and Bring you some good entertainment for the spooky season. Of course, it's going to be 10 days jam-packed. And I'm only going to be posting the traceables and the reference photos on Discord. So if you want to see everything that I'm going to be doing for Spooky Tober, get on the Discord, baby. Okay? Because that's where it's at. All right. So in our reference photo for our... Uh, wait. For our what's the name? Shmoney. You gotta get that shmoney. Okay, so here's our reference with my reference folder that I'm using. You can see you have these little blocks of like uh pansies are very dark. They have like these little dark, I don't know, like sorry if you hear any noises in the background. You know it's Sunday, you guys. It's almost time for din din, okay? Okay, so pansies have these little blocks of, like, black in them and in, in going towards the base of the flower. So that's pretty much what I'm going to be painting in, kind of showing you guys that a little bit. And they look like little flowers within themselves with the funny thing about it, the faulty thing about it, okay? So I'm not going to use black. I'm going to use purple, which is going to look black, okay? So FYI. Let me zoom you guys in. Boom. There you go. So you can kind of see what I'm doing. And, and you see how I made that little shape right there? Um, because that's going to be my little black blob. Because remember what I said, they usually look like 
and little blobs. They usually look like little flowers in themselves. Mm. What is Now, believe me, this is going to make sense later because you got to add more layers. It looks dark right now, but you're good. And, you know, if you have just pins, you can use just pins. I know an awesome artist who does most of their work in just pins, you guys. They don't use... Um, too much paint. You can do anything you put your mind to, honey. Anything you put your mind to, just let it flow. Feel the creative vibes. Boom, boom, boom. But this only works if you let the under layers dry. This is why I did the first base coat. You see that I did it earlier. And then I went in and, of course, this is not a tutorial. We're supposed to just be chilling and whatever. But, you know, I can't help myself, but I got to be teaching something. Right? I wouldn't be me if I wasn't in teacher mode somewhere. Um, so that's kind of why I did um, the light coat of whatever. And yeah. I did the light coat first and then we let it dry. So let's zoom out. And look at that. It's looking like a pansy. Yes, it is. Now I'm going to get some magenta. You can't really see it off to the side. I need to get a palette cam so you guys can see it and then be careful that I mean this is all wet so I mean if you're doing it at home with gouache be careful not to kind of touch it Be careful not to touch it. Do, do. Mm. This is acrylic wash that I'm using, so. Hopefully it'll dry a little lighter than that. Hopefully it will dry a little lighter than that, darling. So over the next hundred days, I try to do
Um, I try to do a new flower painting every couple of days, and I post it on my Instagram. And recently, I started posting it in um, Discord as well. I'm going to end up putting Okay, that's a little bit too wet So we're going to leave it to dry And continue to layer We're going to continue to layer So yeah, this is all little works in progress And all the things So tell me how you feel, you guys. Are you feeling good? How are you feeling about today's painting session? It was really, really fun. I had a blast. I hope you guys had a good time as well. Again, if you want to tag me and all the things you can tag me, I'm Creative Girl of Color or That Creative Girl all over the place. All you got to do is Google me, baby. You can visit me on Instagram, all the things. And again, the link to Discord is down below. And that is it. That's it for today's painting session. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being a part of the family. Thank you for spending your precious time with me. It means so much to me. You guys just don't even know how much it means to me. Yeah. Come on, bro. Get your life together. You're like, what? <laughs> like, why is your bra out? Like, sis. Hmm. But yeah, I hope you guys had a wonderful time. I hope you enjoyed our little painting session. I hope it was relaxing for you. And if you played me in the background, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all the wonderful comments that I've received. You guys rock. You guys know what's up. I love you long time. <laughs> I love you guys long time. If you have any questions, now is the time to put it in the chat. Um, yes. Hey, Sherry is in the house. Hey, I've been enjoying this live chat. You're so much fun. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate you being here. Sorry, I got my remote in my hand because I'm like, click. Mm, mm. Thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in. You guys have any questions about art, about Discord? I want to know what you guys want to see, like, on our next Sketchbook Sundays. What flower do you want to see? Um, I want to, because we'll probably have, like, one or two more Sketchbook Sundays. And then I'm going to, like, roll everything back. And we're going to end up doing our Spooky Tober. Spooky Tober is going to be fun. I'll probably do something fun over on Twitch as well. Like, I'll change my overlays. I got, like, a whole thing kind of worked out on how I want to do it for, um, like, Spooky Tober. It's going to be so much fun. Hey, Sherry. So, yeah, tell me, guys, your feedback. I really want to know um, kind of what you what makes you happy because it's all about you guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want to do some fun things on Discord as well. I think that'll be great. Um, we have a lot of fun things, lots of fun things. Like I said, make sure you guys are visiting my website because I'll put up a blog post um, of like some of the things that we that I want to do and stuff like that. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. 
Zwee, 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 zwee. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, I can't stop just busting out in song. It's absolute insanity. <laughs> um, yeah, you can visit my website at creativegirlofcolor.com. That creative girl is under the same persona. Okay, just in case you don't know. It's all under the same umbrella, Creative Girl LLC. Yes, indeed. Yeah, but I love you guys so much. Um, What else is going on? Okay, so I want to do a movie night, a community night on Discord, but I want to know what you guys want to see, though, because I don't know. I want to, like, preview, like, I don't know. Um, What do I want to preview? Again, I want to preview some of the movies that we're going to be doing because I have to do a full like playthrough and kind of watch it just to bog my memory because we're going to be doing screen caps of all the 1990s best horror movies out there, you guys. So it's going to be super fun. Um, and we got a big lineup. It's going to be 10 movies, 10 days of absolute insanity. I'm going to be dressing up. I'm going to be acting a fool. So I go. I hope you. <laughs> I hope y'all are ready for me to be acting real stupid uh, during this spooky tober. Um, it's gonna be lots of fun for me though. But yeah, I want to actually preview some of the movies on Discord so we can kind of have like a community night. Maybe we can do community night on Saturdays because I don't really stream on Saturdays. Streaming for me is like mostly like. Um, I try to stream like Tuesdays and Sundays on Twitch and and on YouTube and the rest of the days is, is just me making up content and doing different things for the community and doing different things for the group or doing like different content like that. So yeah, I really want to know what you guys want to do as far as that goes. Um, bah, bah, bah. Okay, so Sherry says... I'm new to art and I love your channel name. I'm going to check you out on your other channels. I can't wait for Spooky Tober. Yay! Spooky Tober. Yes. Okay. Cause you know what happened is um, yeah, if you guys are wondering, like on Twitch, my main channel is called Creative Girl of Color. That's my main channel. That's where most of my most of the magic happens. <laughs> um my other channel, um, that creative girl, that's my secondary channel. That's my secondary social media. Twitch is like my secondary stuff. My main gig is on creative girl of color. That's on my main channel. So yeah. Um, yes, I'm excited about spooky Tober. Also, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Again, I'm going to be putting up the prompts. I'm going to be doing a lot of different things in the discord to kind of like get you guys excited about that, including traceables and other stuff like that. And even if you're new to art, it's going to be great because I'm going to be putting up coloring pages and traceables. So you guys can, you can like use it for your own purposes. You can print them out at home, download them, print them out, and you can paint along with me as I do Spooky Tober, which will be exciting. I, well, at least I feel like it's going to be excited. Okay. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be super exciting. But yeah, I want you guys to like paint along with me. Because again, I want it to be a community thing. I want it to be something fun, something exciting for everybody involved. I don't want it to be where it's just all about me. You know what I mean? Um, I'm doing it all for you guys to make you happy. And to get your minds off of everything that's going on in the world. Because that's the name of the game, right? We're in the middle, of, we're still, like, we're going into, like, the second, third, fourth, fifth pandemic or whatever. You know, we got, we got, we got locusts, okay? We got locusts coming down. We got, um, <laughs> I don't even know. We got locusts, we got flies, we got viruses, we got freaking the plague. I mean, my God, okay? Uh, I don't even want to get biblical about it, but it's like, like, sis, can you like calm down at this point? Like, so yeah, we all need a, an escape. We all need to have something else to do besides looking at our family members and ready to strangle them while we're in the house under the fifth quarantine. Um, and then of course, you know, 
I want to give out prayers and all to all the people that's been affected between, you know, being being affected by the, by the virus, being affected by the hurricane that's going on in, um, in Louisiana. I know quite a few artist friends that are being affected by the hurricane that's going on in Louisiana. It's absolute insanity, you guys. We live in hard times. So, yeah, we need art. We need more love. We need more understanding. And we need more happiness. And, yeah. That's it, you guys. If you have any, if you have any more questions, you can always get at me on social media or on the Discord and put up your little memes. I want to see the memes. I enjoy the memes, okay? <laughs> yes, indeed. I enjoy the memes, honey. She's enjoy she enjoys it. I feel love. <laughs> And we and we out. Word to your mother. <laughs> Y'all was watching uh uh what was it? What's the name? Um Vanilla Ice, y'all. I was watching Vanilla Ice. And this man was on here. I can't, I cannot, I cannot even deal with whatever he was doing. And then I was like, damn, I really enjoyed Vanilla Ice when I was younger. I really enjoyed him. I thought it was like the most fun thing I could possibly think of in life. <laughs> oh man. I was like vanilla ice, yes. Where, where are you? So I always wanted to say as I leave, like, we out of here, baby. Word to your mother. <laughs> Uh, I told my mom, I was like, that's gonna be that's gonna be my outro for real. <laughs> oh man. And that's it, you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I know that was a little long-winded, but I have so much to say. I don't get to talk to you guys that often anymore. So yeah. I will catch you guys later. What? Well, <laughs> I'll catch you guys later. Like, ew. Okay, bye.